Lamar Odom recalled his highs and lows, both personal and professional, including his marriage to Khloe Kardashian in his new TV special, Sex, Drugs, and Kardashians. Here is everything we learned in today's S Daily. After meeting at a party in Los Angeles, Khloe and Lamar married after just 30 days, which he called spooky. The couple then filmed their reality show, Chloe and Lamar, which he called a blessing and the happiest he has ever been in his adult life. He said, I was an amazing basketball player, but I know me marrying Chloe Kardashian gives me relevance in so many ways in the entertainment world. I knew what I signed up for. I was doing business with my wife. It's her business, so I'm making it my business. Now, Odom admitted that he was in a dark place when he was traded to the Mavericks and was dealing with the death of his cousin in 2011. He said, drugs, that was my girlfriend. I had a wife and cocaine. For part of my marriage, I had to tell Chloe, you can't hide that forever. She was hurt, but Chloe was a good wife. She wasn't dismissive or saying, get away from me. She was protective and wanted to protect me even more. She stood by me. I mean, behind the scenes, I put her through some shit. Like shit that you all don't know. These stories that you all don't know is like really crazy. Lamar opened up about cheating on Chloe and saying that he had random women coming out of the woodwork. He said, I'm having full blown relationships on the road. My wife is Chloe Kardashian. I'm bugging. I'm laughing out of embarrassment right now. How did I think I was going to get out of that one? Like, what could I actually tell Chloe to leave her for a couple of hours to even like leave to go do drugs with some random women? According to the documentary, the final straw was after Chloe saw a video of Lamar rapping about cheating on her. During his October 2015 visit to a legal brothel, Lamar noted that he handed over his credit card and said to charge $75,000 in an effort to overpay to try to keep his location secret. He was found unresponsive in a coma for several days before he woke up and saw Kardashian in his hospital room. He said, Chloe, you know, she wiped my ass. I don't get realer than that. She would bring me pictures of my mother, my grandmother, help me with my memory. I couldn't show how I really felt. I was hardly even talking. I could hardly say thank you, Chloe. I could think it, but I couldn't express it. He added, I wish at the time I was more cognitive to let her know that how much I appreciate her for that. I couldn't show how I really felt. I knew it had to be terribly frustrating for her. Now, Lamar also insisted that he didn't knowingly do cocaine at the ranch, alleging that he was slipped drugs and claiming Bunny Ranch owner Dennis Hoff, who died in 2018, wanted him dead. Now, when his divorce was finalized with Chloe, Lamar admitted that he was struggling with money. In addition to blowing cash on drugs and prostitutes, he had been funding the lives of friends and family members, including his dad. Lamar sold his Lakers championship rings, admitting he couldn't recall how much he made as he started doing drugs again. He said his love for life and wanting to tell the Lord thank you for sparing him has helped him be sober today. Now Lamar did say that no one but Kardashian has ever made him feel secure enough to get married. He said he would of course get back together with Chloe if she gave him another shot, but he is too shy to ask. As for her ex Tristan Thompson, he said hopefully the next guy in her life will do a lot better. Hopefully he'll learn from me and Tristan. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.